Welcome back into the film room. I'm your host, Eric Turner. And in today's film room feature, we're going to break down how the Buffalo Bills slowed down defensive end Max Crosby. And the first game ball goes to the offensive staff. They did a great job of giving right tackle Spencer Brown a ton of help in the form of nudge blocks, jam blocks, chip releases. They used different personnel. They used different formations. They did whatever they could to help Spencer Brown. I counted at least 15 plays where the Bills gave Brown help from a tight end or from a running back. And this allowed Josh Allen to work high to low, read high to low, look down the field. If there was nothing there, he found his underneath wide receivers and targets. And a lot of times it was a running back or a tight end that had a chip release or a delayed release underneath. And they were able to stay ahead of the chains because of it. The other part of the game plan that was crucial was getting the ball out of Josh's hands. There were options for Josh early and quickly in plays. But also, Josh did some things that only Josh can do. He played above the scheme sometimes when plays weren't there. Or Crosby took an inside rush and lost contain. He did some things outside of the scheme, above the scheme, that only Josh can do. But he didn't have to bust that out often. He only had to do it three or four times. It wasn't one to two times every drive. And so that kept the offense on schedule. That allowed the Bills to be efficient and control the ball via the air and the ground game. So without further ado, let's take a look at what the Bills did on and off the field to slow down Max Crosby and to be efficient on offense and put up 38 points against the Raiders. All right, first phase of this is Josh Allen being aware of Max Crosby. Not only did Josh get the ball out quickly in the passing game and to several weapons, but he understood where Crosby was and when he was able to escape the pocket. Brown gets beat here. It's a two-handed punch. Double-handed swipe from Crosby wins the outside edge, but the Raiders are in man coverage. Josh steps up, becomes a passer again. Here comes some pressure from the linebacker, but he finds Diggs right at the markers. The next several clips, you're going to see Crosby take an inside move, an inside line to the quarterback, and Josh Allen recognized it quickly. And he's able to hit his weapons down the field for big plays. So on this play, this is something that showed up on film. A lot of times Crosby would take that inside line, that inside move to the quarterback and would lose contain. It happened in week one against the Broncos and Russell Wilson got outside the pocket, threw a couple touchdowns on the move, on the run, similar to this play here. Josh Allen recognized Crosby is driving inside. It's a soft edge. He takes it, becomes that playmaker with the option to run or pass it. Davis reads the scramble drill, creates that separation down the field, and Josh hits him for the big play. The next play is just a play where Josh Allen shows how special he is. Brown loses this rep to Crosby. Crosby gives him a sick spin move inside, but Josh Allen hangs in there to complete the pass to Shakir for the touchdown. Wide alignment from Crosby on this play. So Brown has a long ways to go. He gets a, a, a tighter edge made here because Cook is exiting the backfield, so Crosby wants to avoid that contact. So contact's made right there, but you can see the spin move and that inside lane to the quarterback and how that knocks Brown off balance. So Crosby is coming for Josh Allen, but the true pressure also happens up the middle. So Torrance and Morris are working the D lineman to the linebacker here, and the linebacker eventually spins and loops to this side. And Morse feels that Torrance is heavy on this defender right here. So he tries to pop out to pick up Spillane, the linebacker, and Josh Allen steps up. But as he's stepping up, and I think he wants to run it at this point. His eyes are down. I think he wants to run it. Torrance peels off of the defensive lineman. So now both of those guys are going for Spillane and Crosby to the right side of the pocket, and Josh has nowhere to run. So what does he quickly do? Gets his eyes back up finds his target working over the middle of the field, which is wide open, and he hits him for the touchdown. Shakir does a great job of maintaining his balance through contact and breaking that last tackle to get in the end zone for six points. So Brown was beaten on this play. Crosby won this, but because of Josh Allen's ability to play above the scheme on this play and to make a play that not many quarterbacks make really is the reason why this play succeeded. Here's another play where Crosby's out wide, takes the inside line to the quarterback, goes speed to power, and that allows Josh Allen to break contain, get outside the pocket, and make a play to Gabe Davis. 
Josh didn't have to bust this out all that often. He didn't really have to go into playmaker mode. We're talking with his legs and making throws back across the field for big plays or interceptions for that matter. He didn't have to bust it out often, but when he did, he was successful. And a lot of times that came when Crosby lost contain, like you see here, Josh and Gabe Davis link up near the middle of the end zone. You see Davis climb the ladder, catch the ball, and put six points on the board. Right, on to the good stuff, the game planning, the strategy, the coaching staff, and what they came up with against the Raiders in week two. And using tight ends to help secure the pocket, to help secure Max Crosby, was a huge theme in this game. In this game, the Bills ran 12 personnel, so one running back, two tight ends, 37.8% of the time. That was fifth in week two. On the season, they're running 12 personnel 50% of the time. That's number one in the NFL. So quite the change when you're talking about scheme and Ken Dorsey and what he's done differently this year. In this game alone, the Bills ran 13 personnel, so one running back, three tight ends, 5.4%, which was 12th overall for week two. So they added three tight ends on this play. They have Quentin Morris, Dawson Knox, and then Dalton Kincaid to the short side field. And this is how they use their tight ends in this game. Play action from under center and get the ball out to their weapons quickly and get some yards after the catch. This is a 26-yard gain to James Cook. And the Bills had multiple tight ends to Crosby's side. As you can see, here's Crosby right here. They had Knox and Morris helping out on that side. Now, they didn't need it because Crosby loops inside, but this bought the Bills time and space. I mean, look at this pocket. All that time and space for Josh Allen to survey the field, realize, hey, that shot call is not there to Sherfield. The sale route by Kincaid isn't there. Well, guess what? They forgot about James Cook out of the backfield. He gets it to him, and the Bills move the chains for a 26-yard game. Josh Allen was just in tune with the game plan. He was in tune with where Crosby was on every play. On this play, he gets it out to James Cook quickly, but you can see Sherfield is actually helping out wide here initially on Crosby, and that allows Brown to take his time getting out here to find the proper angle to set up the block Crosby. But again, it doesn't matter because the ball is out so quickly. Josh sees that. Cook has a leverage on the linebacker, number five, Diablo. He gets it out to him, and he's able to convert the first down. The Bills use formations. The Bills use different personnel to slow Crosby down, to neutralize him. It's an empty set here. Damian Harris is the wingman right off of Brown. And this formation alone puts Crosby out wide, which is obviously further away from the quarterback. Crosby has to work through multiple offensive players on this play and the next several plays but the play is so quick down the field to Knox because the Bills got man coverage when they got man coverage they actually ate pretty well against the Raiders but these type of formations and personnel and just the mindset of making Crosby have to beat multiple players on every single play had to wear that guy down that high effort motor type player down this one was too easy Knox gets inside leverage on the defender, and it's an easy pitch and catch between Josh Allen and Dawson Knox. Another personnel grouping here, 21 personnel, so two running backs, Gilliam, Cook, one tight end, but the formation, again, gives Josh Allen, gives Spencer Brown help on the edge. Gilliam works that outside shoulder, and what he's trying to do is basically funnel Crosby into Brown, and that allows Brown to smoothly and calmly kick slide out wide to get the proper angle to set up versus Crosby. So good work there by Gilliam. Gets a piece of him. Josh, off a of play action from under center, looks down the field. There's nothing there. So what does he do? With this defender bailing out with Sherfield, he just gets it to Gilliam immediately. Now, is it a big game? No. But the Bills stay ahead of the chains. And again, they're making Crosby work for every pass rush in this game. Great job there by Gilliam knocking and chipping him over to Brown. Josh surveys the shot play. It's not there. Defender has his back to Gilliam. He gets it to Gilliam in the flats. Efficient offense and staying ahead of the chains was the name of the game in this week two matchup versus the Raiders and going forward. Just another example of the Bills scheming up Max Crosby on this play and just taking what the defense gives you as an offense. Knox does a great job of jamming Crosby up, passing him on to Spencer Brown. Brown attacks. Josh looks down the field and realizes you know what? I'll just take the check down. I'll take the safety valve. That's Dawson Knox. 
It's only a few yard gain, but once again, being efficient, staying on track and on schedule is the name of the game, especially when you have a guy like Max Crosby who can wreck game plans and really open things up for his teammates. Another multiple tight end set, another play action pass, another three level passing concept off of play action where Josh finds Kincaid underneath for a good chunk of yards. And the Raiders play a lot of cover three, so a lot of offenses attack that with three level passing concepts from shotgun or under center. The Bills ran a lot of under center play action, and they had three level passing routes. On this play, it's the same thing, but it's out of shotgun. Now, there's some type of miscommunication up the middle here on this defensive tackle. Someone let that guy loose, but watch Kincaid on this delayed release. So he's helping on Crosby. And then as Josh gets outside the pocket with that little pump fake, he gets outside the pocket, Kincaid releases. He releases outside here, and now Crosby has to decide, okay, do I continue with Kincaid or do I go get the quarterback as a contained player? Crosby decides to attack Josh, and then Josh just dumps it down to Kincaid. And just look at how smooth Kincaid is on this play. Look at how smooth he is. As soon as he's catching it right now, he's already turning up field. It's so smooth. It's such a smooth transition. And this play is just this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous play design from Dorsey. Great timing by the Bills offense and Josh Allen. And Josh just finding that underneath guy because everyone down the field on this three-level passing concept is covered pretty well. Josh is able to find the dump down, the safety valve, tight end Dalton Kincaid to move the chains. And great finish here too, right? Great finish by Kincaid. Here's a big play down the field thanks to some help from Dawson Knox on Max Crosby. He does a good job of slowing Crosby down. Again, allowing Josh Allen to stand tall in the pocket. Josh does a great job of reloading and finding digs down the field on this play. And it's a good thing he did. So we'll look at Crosby and then we'll look at what happened on the back end when it comes to the actual concept. So on the snap, you're going to see Crosby get interfered with, get held up, get slowed down by Dawson Knox. And that allows Brown to get out wide. Nice and smoothly, right? Great job there, and it's a nice pocket. So that helps Josh keep his eyes down the field and not have to pull up. But Josh's awareness on this play pre to post snap and how that picture changes was pretty money because number one is dropping right into that hole. He's being more like a robber, rat player underneath, and he's watching Allen from the snap. And Allen wants to get it to Davis on this dig right here coming across the middle. Versus this single high look. That's typically when you want to go to a dig when there is only one safety deep. But weak side, robber here, which means that safety isn't helping the corner on the outside. So Josh reloads. I don't know how he does it, but he does. He reloads and then gets his eyes to digs running the outbreaking route for the big play. So great work pre to post snap from Josh Allen. Good work between Knox and Brown slowing up Crosby. And this allows Josh to stand tall in the pocket, away from the offensive line and line of scrimmage, survey the field, and find his weapons down the field. Here's another one of those plays where the Bills use their tight ends. This time, Dalton Kincaid, and he's probably my favorite when he does this, to slow down Crosby. And he hands Crosby off, basically, right to Brown. So talk about a perfect play when we're talking about securing Crosby, Kincaid. Jams Crosby, hands him right off to Brown. This allows Josh to survey the field. And what he sees is that the Raiders have a safety over the top of Diggs, who's running this goal route. You're going to see this safety to the field kind of widen as Kincaid releases. Josh doesn't want to take this post because, again, there's a safety back there. So those are taken away. So he works through his progressions, gets it to Davis at the bottom of the screen. So good work. At the line of scrimmage, at securing Crosby, allowing Josh to have a tremendous pocket. Josh works through his progressions, lets his eyes and the coverage take him to Davis, and he gets rid of it. If I had to choose one play to encapsulate what the offensive staff wanted from their pass protection and what they wanted from Josh Allen in this game, it's this first down play with Josh under center. Utilizing a play action fake, scanning down the field, there's nothing there, and he took the check down. So with that said, let's break it down from the top. 12 personnel, so two tight ends on the field here. Kincaid to the wide side of the field, and he's the one that is helping out on Crosby. 
helps jam up Crosby, hands him off to Brown as Josh is faking it to Cook, getting deep in the pocket, and look at the pocket he has. I mean, look at the depth he has in the pocket there. This is a sale concept. You have the clearing route by the number one, sell route by Diggs, and Josh is looking down the field. He's looking at Diggs, but as you can see, there are three defenders bracketing Diggs, so there's nothing there. Clearing route rarely is thrown to, especially when you have two safeties deep. So what does Josh do? He checks it down to Kincaid. And I love this role for Kincaid. Help at the line of scrimmage, release underneath, become that safety valve, because he's one of the guys that when the ball's in his hands, he can do something with it as far as run after catch. So this one play right here is exactly the mindset that Josh Allen and the Bills offense has to live in. This is the realm they need to live in going forward. Take those shots down the field. Try opening those plays up. But if they're not there, have an outlet. Have a safety valve. Have someone helping out Spencer Brown when needed. As I said, I charted at least 15 plays where the Bills gave Brown some type of help from a running back, from a tight end. This was one of those plays. And just look what it does for the pocket, for Josh Allen and his composure in the pocket and poise. It allows him to scan the field and look down the field, read high to low. And if there's nothing there, have plenty of time to work his way down to his outlet. Once again, thank you for joining me in the film room. And if you like this type of content, please take a moment to hit that like button. Leave us a comment in the comment area. Let us know what you liked about the video, what you liked about the game plan, and what you want to see from Ken Dorsey, Josh Allen, and the Bills offense going forward. And don't forget, every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. on the Cover One YouTube channel, Anthony Prohaska and I jump into the film room, break down a bunch of film from the offense, the defense, from this Raiders game, and future games going forward. So if you like this content, make sure to set a reminder for Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. in the film room with Anthony and I. Until our next film room session, I'm signing off. Go Bills.